do this. All right, guys, and we're off. This way, Camo. More of the summit before we go. Down there is pretty cool. Can't really see too much today, guys. Sorry. But we're going to get off this windy summit. Kind of like Knife's Edge, just not as scary. The way we're going down right now is kind of like, like Knife Edge on Katana, just not as scary, not as high, probably not as thin. Huh? Whew. Careful there. Oh shit. <laughs> I almost fell. Huh? Yeah, I'm sitting in the middle of the trail. The sun's coming out. Woohoo! Here, take this. Take that, baby. Get that. Sun is come. I'm coming out. Love this hike, guys. Love it. Especially when you get right here, it's like you're on top of the world. You're in heaven. You're hiding the clouds. Right there. Oh, there is a rainbow. Can you guys see it? We're at the same level as a rainbow. Yeah. That's so pretty. I've never been as high as a rainbow, no. That is so cool. Well, now we know why it's a really a good thing to come out when it's raining and hike. Because you get to see cool stuff. And you're only one up here. Yeah, we passed one person who actually turned around because she said it was too slippery. But uh, we're up here, so, and it really wasn't all that slippery, to be honest. Yeah, it was more, I think she was looking on the rocks. Yeah, I think she was trying to get on the rocks and try not to get dirty. So, if you're the type of girl that's afraid to break a nail, you're a girly girl. afraid to get dirt under it, afraid to get dirt on your clothes, do not hike any of these trails. I don't hike any trail. I don't, ooh, that's there was trail karma. <laughs> trail and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna call it shit and you're only calling it shit because fell. you fell and you are just having a bad day because it's raining then you shouldn't be up here judging this hike because this is one of the best hikes I've probably been on it's a nice round trip hike you get to go down go come up one trail which is the west side trail and then uh, you can go down east side trail after if you want you, we were just on the west side uh, view and uh huh? no I know you have to come back to the middle to go down you have to go back to the middle of the top trail um because the top trail is all views pretty much yeah we passed the red blaze uh the first trails you follow up are white blazes then the trail at the top is red, and the trail at the bottom, which is the east trail, is blue. So, but you can walk all the way to the top of this mountain if you want. The top of the mountain is about a mile, mile and a half. Point eight from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, and then this way is.
Yeah, total mile and a half to the other end, 0.8 to the middle trail. And then the east trail, I believe, is like a mile, 0.2, because just all the switchbacks it does and the bull crap, to be honest. Of, uh, if you just come up the west side, hike down the yeah. east trail to the center trail to go back down, yeah. it's a three mile round trip. Yeah, I know. Three mile round trip. Some cool rocks along there. So this is the ridge we're walking, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll give you guys a view this way for a little bit. Can they see it? Back of your head, yes. No, the trail itself. Okay, we're gonna flip the camera around. You can't flip the camera around while recording. That sucks. I knew you couldn't, that's why I was doing Stupid that. Stupid iPhone. I know, I got a lot of iPhones. Stupid Apple products. A droid you can do it with. How about now? Can you see the trail? Whoop. What? Can you see the trail? Yeah. off the ridge line almost. So that's all I really wanted to show you was the ridge we're walking. That's where we just came from. I know it looks like you're just gonna walk off the tip of the mountain, doesn't it? It's so cool. I like it. If I can do that now that he told me that the only difference between Katata and this is the elevation for one and the tree line. Uh, there's a tree. Man, I'm glad I got cat reflexes. Um, Katana, Katahdin doesn't have a tree line on Knife's Edge, and I think I want to do that, honestly, with him when he comes and picks me up at the end once I hit that sign. And uh, not a lot of people know there's actually an intercontinental Appalachian Trail that goes all the way through Canada another thousand miles, which I didn't find out till now, or I would actually be doing that as well. Um, but I have to get my passport and everything else before then, and I really don't want to go through all that drama because I'm just too excited right now to just get on the trail. Uh, yeah, and it takes too long because I'm leaving too fast, so. Uh, but it, it's pretty cool. It starts at the end of Baxter Park and it's actually part of the Appalachian Trail. Um, they're actually trying to uh, bring it up to, yeah, to expand it to uh, Greenland and Iceland and um, Europe and to Africa. So we have to take a trolley and everything else like that or a boat. And they're actually uh, been planning on implementing some type of road or trainway or some type of byway or something to actually get overseas so you don't have to uh, get a boat the whole way across. You can probably just walk it or fly or whatever, whatever need be. But um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be maybe my next trip. Uh, after this one, I'm going to give it a, like about six months break, you know, let my husband actually see me. <laughs> and uh, then uh, probably go up uh, right back to Baxter, climb Katahdin, and again, just for shits and giggles, I guess, because I know I'm going to like it. Um, and then continue that thousand so odd hundred miles or whatever. That's a thousand hundred and something odd miles, I think, or a thousand three hundred and something odd miles. It's a thousand something odd miles extra. It'd be a total of 3,900 and something. I don't know. To get to the international, it's another like 40 or 50 miles. Yeah, to get to the international trail, it's about another 40, 50 miles just to get to the international trail. But they consider that all the Appalachian Trail. And honestly, uh, if you don't walk the whole thing and you say to somebody you walk the whole thing, you're just a flat out liar. And we don't like that on the trail. You have to walk the whole thing. I know, but what I'm saying is the Canadian Park is the international, but the AT ends at the top. Yeah.
yes, the AT. Yeah. But if you actually want to get technical, yeah. the international AT is still part of the AT. Well, think about it. Think There's that red blaze we're following, guys. If you think about it, they say the AT goes from what? Georgia to Maine or Georgia to Canada? Georgia to Maine. Well, it depends on who you ask, yes. But I, for one, think that people should start trying to do the whole thing now that people are going to start finding out about it. It's only another thousand miles. You already did 2,000. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing today, guys. Is uh, I mean, not today. When I finish Katata and I slap that sign and I come down knife's edge, probably, hopefully. <laughs> After the Appalachian Trail, I should be able to handle that, I think. Um, I'm going to actually continue the mileage on to Canada. Uh, I'm going to stop right at the border since I don't have my pass. And if nobody's there, who knows? I might just slip a foot over. Huh? Now we're just walking an easy, nice trail to the other east side trail. There you go though, guys. There's a nice view for you. I'm telling you, rocks everywhere. I love it. Love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you want to know you got if you got cell phone reception up here, you do. Huge cell phone tower up here. Uh so Yeah. Ooh, it's a prettier view. Ooh, ooh. Pretty. See, this is what my legs hate the most. It's just a flat trail. I don't know why. You really use a soda right now, just for the sugar. Should have ate something before we went on the hike. But hey, that's just how I do. This is running on no energy, guys. I know it's not the smart thing to do, but gets my body used to the elements in the harshest condition it can before I get on the Appalachian Trail. Yep, got some muddy terrain. <laughs> it's got some briars. Watch out for the bushes right there, guys. Hard to see what you guys can see because the sun glare. Well, UV glare because it's really not a sun. <laughs> this is what I love about these shoes. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am not slipping and I am trying to force myself to slip. Gonna love that on the trail. Is that a tree down? Well, got my workout in for today. Really cool chair, guys. I mean, 